Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dawn of War 3. I am the Alchemical Rabbit, and thank you for joining us today. We will be playing the campaign of this game. It has just come out. I understand there have been mixed reviews. Um, I have not actually read them in any detail. I know there's some concerns about the multiplayer and whatnot. However, our focus, as always, is going to be on the single player. For those who watched the original Dawn of War Let's Play and then Winter Assault, you know I'm a big fan of the 40k universe. Played the tabletop game for 14 plus years, and it would be even longer because I've had a recent hiatus. All right, so we are going to go ahead and begin with the campaign. We will be playing on normal difficulty. And I know nothing about the story for this other than it involves the Blood Ravens, the Orc, and the Eldar. Let's find out what else there is to learn. Beginning a new campaign, we remove any progress. That is fine. That's cool looking. Sort of heretical machinery. Xenotech, no doubt. We'll burn it. Don't worry. It will all be burned. Planet Cypress Ultima, the defense of Varlek Keep. The Knights of House of Varlek have stood watch on this world for over a millennia. It's a very short time in the Imperium. Today, they stand on the brink of ruin. Their commander, Lady Solaria, sends out a desperate call for aid. The only Gabriel Angelos, leader of the Blood Ravens, dares to answer. See, Already I have my concerns about brand loyalty, or not brand loyalty, but attention to detail, because they call him the leader of the Blood Ravens, where he should be the chapter master of the Blood Ravens. I'm, I'm, I'm being a nerd. Okay, let us begin. Fiery skies shall light the way, and blood shall spill over the wandering world. The spear of Cain shall call the wayfarers, and the storm prince shall unite them. Their victory shall shake the heavens. Orc hordes threaten to overrun planet Cyprus. Descended from the sky. Their chapter master, Gabriel Angelos, defied the Inquisitor's blockade, but came to the aid of House Varla. The Inquisitor can suck it. This is Gabriel Angelos, Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens. My Space Marines and I have deployed to the breach. We shall stem the Orc Tide. Space Marines? It's about damn time you got here. <laughs> she should be in a little more awe, considering it is the Astartes, but whatever. Alright, we're gonna get straight in there. That crosses this threshold, Blood Ravens. So at least they called him the Chapter Master eventually, so very well. Alright, let's get in there. Not bad. Yes, so 
Uh, an Imperial Space Marine Chapter Master defies the wills of an Inquisitor. That's not that unusual. As all-powerful as the Inquisitor is amongst the Imperial's populace. As much as... It's pa sorry. As much power as an Inquisitor holds within the Imperial populace, they actually have no say over what the Space Marines do. Uh, I think we went over that a little bit in, in the very first Dawn of War with... Uh, God, was that Inquisitor not? Which is fine, because I've been playing Outlast. For some reason, that name stuck in that. But the uh, Inquisitor in Dawn of War 1 tried to order the Space Marines around and didn't have anything to do. So really, they should stop fighting Gabriel. I'm moving on. Where am I needed? The communication array! I can't coordinate our defenses if it falls! Understood. I'm on my way. That would have been bad. I started to walk towards where those icons were. I would have ended up with a, uh... Over here. I would have ended up with a drop pod on my head. And so we're only playing as Gabriel. I don't get a tactical squad? Alright. Seems... He's a very hands-on chapter. Well, damn it. I need to find another way up. Alright. Well, thankfully, you have the ability to jump pack, apparently. The teleport? Okay, I don't think that's necessarily canon. A space Marine jumping three stories doing a backflip to land on a, a wall. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's badass, but... still don't think that's quite canon. Get in there, buddy. There we go. Alright, so yes, I heard there was a big focus on the heroes or elite units within the game, and we're certainly seeing that so far. How close can we get? We can't get as close as we could in the original game. Can we knock this wall over, or do we need to jump it? Chapter Master to Battle Barge Dauntless. Okay, we have a s two squads of scouts. Squad drop to my position. The Dauntless reads you. A tactical marine drop pod is on standby, awaiting deployment orders. I understand. Okay, so we click this, and we can call down a group like so. Nice. Could have been worse. Alright, so we dive in with Gabriel. He will end up tanking decently. Scouts, unfortunately, still a, still as squishy as they ever were. Okay, let's just break these. Tactical squad is fine. They're just grots. No, there's, there's boys in there. All right, we have secured everything. Let's move up. Let's do a quick leap. No, no, no. Let's land on them. Excellently done. You guys, attack. Move, please. Thank you. Let's get... We can help. Are these actually guardsmen? Oh, yes, there are actually guardsmen in this. Or at least Arbites or something. And yeah, one of the complaints I did hear about the game is that, you know, there only being three races compared to Dawn of War 1, which capped out, like, what, nine? Hurry, the communication array is just ahead of you. Okay. On my way. Does that heal everyone in the group? No? Alright, do an attack move. Let's do a quick jumpy jump. Alright, so we're going to get them up there. You guys will fight back here. They definitely got the scale of a 40k battle more so than possibly previous games. So you have to give them that much credit. Alright, and there's plenty of healing items. So if we start to see anyone drop below, like, half, we'll uh, move out, move over. Alright, Gabriel is a one-man wrecking crew, as we would expect. We are going to go ahead and grab that to make sure we I'm gonna grab the tacticals and move them over to grab a healing item 
Okay, so it actually even teleports in reinforcements, so it's not just a health thing, it is also just a number of men. Good job. Alright, we're advancing forward. We have two tactical squads coming in. Alright, I'm sending the scouts to deal with the heavy weapons. We'll grab Gabriel. We'll land right on top of these boys. Like so. Then once he's ready, we'll do a quick spin a rooney. Then we will grab... Alright, excellent. The array is secure. Well done. There's no time for rest, though. Oh, what happened to our normal, uh, scouts? Oh, we don't get to control them anymore. They're just sitting down here. Okay. Forces deployed to that hangar in advance of my arrival. Affirm, Captain Master. Dauntless out. Can we have our scouts back? Apparently not. Alright, let's just move up. Uh, secure the position, men. Glory to the Emperor. Emperor. Alright, advance. Grab Gabriel, do his teleport thing. Teleport his jump. Well, he's wearing Terminator armor, he should teleport in. Ah. Do you guys have grenades? No, you don't. Okay. It would be lovely if they actually built it in that you could knock guys off the edges and they plummet to their death. I suppose that would be difficult to tune against, though. Alright. They're all dead. Well, we can see our first knight down below. Hopefully it wasn't anything I was supposed to be paying attention to. What kind of deaf dread voice is that? I mean, that giant chainsword's cool. But we'll continue our advance. Yeah, that, that Death Dread has a voice like this, and I'm an orc. Sorry. Where's the cheesy, great voice acting of Dawn of War 1? Alright, so they're not moving now, so I am stuck just moving forward with him. Get in there. For all their savagery, the orcs are resourceful. Maybe we shouldn't be down here. Dauntless, I've reached the hangar. Understood. Jump. Excellent. Okay, we have a dreadnought. I think we'll be fine. Oh my god. Alright, um, there. Land on somebody, please. Thank you. Alright, we got an assault squad. Let's do a quick jump there. Alright, they are at least getting the the power of... the cannon power of Space Marines across, considering the numbers here. Alright, what we are going to do is we're going to send the... We are going to send the Assault Squad over here to heal. There we go, we got one. Let's go ahead and fully heal. Get up there. Alright, we have some tactical squads in. Go ahead and get him up in there to assist. One Assault Squad versus Orcs is not exactly most favorable to us. Alright, yeah, we'll let the uh, Chapter Master deal with that. You guys are going to jump over here to get this healing. Thank you. Okay, the walker is dead. So we can heal. Cool. Alright, so we're going to advance. Gonna bring them all close to the barracks so they heal up. I'll be there soon, Lady Solaria. Is healing? You're supposed to be.
Because we have the healing aura. Oh, it only heals... Oh, oops. It only heals... There we go, we can do reinforcements that way. Yes, so if you're close to buildings, it's not like the original Dawn of War where you could uh, just secure yourself from any position. You actually have to be near, secure yourself, reinforce yourself from any position. You have to actually be near a allied building to pull it off. That's what we're just going to go ahead and do real quick. In addition, we're also going to call down what we have. We have one tactical squad, an assault squad. We have two tacticals and an assault squad. So let's go ahead and call down some snipers. And a second assault squad because we're fighting orcs and we're going to need that front line support. And finally, one squad of scouts stacked as a forward group. Alright, so they'll be called down here in just a moment. Alright, so my opening thoughts on the game. It's very, it's very smooth looking in its aesthetics. And I mean that both positively and negatively because... I don't know, there's something about the environment that seems very StarCraft or Diablo to me. It's very Blizzard. And sort of its rounded edges, like these the edges on this railing, they don't look very harsh, right? Even these pointed spikes sort of have a look to them that gives them more of a softer look. And I feel like that's not quite right for the Imperium. I feel like things are a little too clean and glorious looking. Like this Dreadnought looks pristine. Which I get, it's the Astartes, and they are supposed to be the elite of, the you know, the elite be the elite. But, I don't know, it just, it doesn't quite feel like classic 40k, but on the other hand, it's very aesthetically appealing. So what I'm checking real quick is, how do you guys arrange yourself? Alright, not really in any kind of tactical formation, huh? Alright, well. That's okay, we're playing on normal. I have a feeling positioning isn't going to be that important. Oh, okay, so we can actually call... Oh, so we could have called down units while we were moving. Oh, well. Fine. That knight down there is still holding together. Also, if anyone needed any question, or had to answer the question of whether or not the uh, Blood Ravens are related to the Blood Angels, this is a Furioso Dreadnought. And that only means something if you're a giant 40k nerd, but I'm pretty sure that means these guys have to be Blood Angel related. Which I didn't think was canon. But maybe I'm wrong. It just seems odd that they'd have a Furioso. Uh, for those who don't know, Furioso is a Dreadnought with two Power Fists. They are incredibly badass. And I guess, you know, if it, if it ever gets Blood Claws, then we'll know. Alright, let's get down there. Let's go ahead and jump you guys in. Uh, you guys need to drop in here. Alright, then we can just go ahead and grab everybody. Make sure you're all in group one. You are. Alright. Yeah, we have this type of unit composition, we're fine. Okay, everyone's health is doing fine. Let's go ahead and get everyone down low. Oh man, those snipers actually have actual sniping range. Appreciate that. Considering they're taking shots from all the way up there. Alright, kill the last orc. Excellent. Glorious. Now let's let our scouts get back down here. Oh, we have to fend off the final attack, huh? Scouts, position. You, you. No pillage for you. You land there. All right, we're gonna move our tacticals back a little bit. These guys are here to do damage. Oh, we have orcs up above, too. Shit. Okay, he's gonna die. I can't really help that. Oh, well. Scouts, you fought bravely. Sorry you never made it to battle, brother. But, really, that's entirely my fault, so... So... You know, suck it up, boys. Oh yeah, so we're just gonna use Gabriel up here. I think he he can hold this entire thing by himself. Scouts, 
open fire, blind. That stun is very useful. Gabriel, how are you doing? Doing okay. Let's just go ahead and do a quick spin of Rooney. You're fine. Uh, Furios is standing there getting shot in the face. Yeah, it, it, it's strange because it doesn't have the same scale of units the original Dawn of War games had. Um, and so far it doesn't seem to have the customization options either. Like in regards to, I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to add any special weapons. Alright, everyone come down. Alright, we're dropping a standard, for whatever that's worth. Hopefully that's helping. Unyielding. Basically, give shields, feel no pain. Okay, so these are buffs bestowed by it. Okay. We are starting to get low on health. Let's jump over there. Do a quick... Let's go grab this health item, because he is not in good shape. Okay. Big ol' attack. Good. These guys are slowly shooting that one orc to death. Alright. Gabriel, I think you should be able to deal with this thing. Alright, shield up. Death Dread is falling down. A hard-fought battle. More Battle Brothers dead than we would have preferred. But victory, as always, is the Emperor's. Also, I think he's taking damage in that explosion, so let's move. We've been fighting them without reprieve for so long. I thought these were our last days. You fought valiantly, enduring this. Your call for aid should not have gone unanswered. Nonetheless, my house and I owe you, Space Marines, a great debt. Everyone in the Imperium owes the Astartes a great debt. And, ladies and gentlemen, that was the first mission of Dawn of War 3. Let's see what Continue gets us. Any kind of stats or experience system? Nope, doesn't look like it. This reprieve from the Xenos will allow us to repair all of our damaged night armor. The Orc's best chance to destroy us has now passed. Even so... I shall leave a force of Space Marines on Cyprus' surface. Blood Ravens do not abandon loyal soldiers of the Emperor. I will repay this debt, Master Angelos. My word is my bond. Solaria out. Chapter Master, you have another communique from the Inquisitor. Put him through. Gabriel Angelos, I summoned you to this world for a greater purpose than mere orbs. My purpose is dictated by the Emperor, not you, Inquisitor. Duty demands I stand with my fellow man against the alien. Duty demands you follow my orders. We need to conserve our forces in high orbit. For what? The Orcs are the only threat I see in this system. All will be revealed in time. Do not get distracted until then. Inquisitor out. I'm sure he's not corrupted, right? There's no way. I mean, look at that face. Is that the face of a chaos war? Yes, it is. It is the face of a chaos, chaos worshiper. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed the first episode, please let us know down in the comments, and please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, I have been the Alchemical Rabbit, and this has been Dawn of War 3.